It's a federation that has, over the past two years, been deeply divided, parting ways with its long-serving general secretary after a fallout and expelling its largest affiliate for allegedly bringing the federation into disrepute. Kosatu is in alliance with the ruling ANC. The ANC will be contesting local elections in 2016. Labor force represented by Kosatu is the ANC's key constituency. Any divisions within the federation are detrimental to the ANC cause. Kosatu must emerge from this Congress stronger than it is now at the beginning of Congress. That is the challenge that all delegates face today. How do we work to unite COSAT? This means delegates must put the interests of the Federation and workers first in deliberations and in the focus of the Congress. In this way, COSATU and workers will emerge as winners at the end of the Congress. Zuma told these delegates that it's critical to note that there are those constantly trying to divide them. If you understand who is the enemy, you can't have the luxury of disunity, fighting among ourselves, you then don't understand the enemy if you do so. You don't understand the enemy. Because if you do that, if you fight among yourselves, you are weakening yourselves and the enemy gets an upper hand. More than 2,500 delegates are attending the Congress to deliberate on several issues and elect new leadership. At the end of this Congress, though, Kosatu's national office bearers will largely remain the same. Contestation was ruled out to ensure that unity and cohesion prevails. Yoli Sanjamela for CCTV in Johannesburg, South Africa.